حبیب خدا لطف فرمائیے یا امام زماب چلے آئیے The archives of history have shown us how women you heard how brother Zishan's uh, mother was a mean so in this next uh, speaker he's going to speak about this topic how a woman is treated before the advent of Islam Islam is the religion which actually recognizes the rights and give them their true status to women it is enough to say that the Prophet used to get up from his seat in honor of his daughter Fatima Tazz Zahra Salam Allah Aleha and with this I would like to introduce our next speaker which is brother Ajaz Jafri Sahab brother Ajaz Jafri Sahab is an assistant professor of statistics operations research and a management in University of Mumbai he has a master's degree in industrial engineering from USA and a management degree from Mumbai he has been a teacher for 10 years and about 10 years professional experience in corporate both in US and India he likes to read exercise and spend time with his family in his spare time with this I would like to call him on stage brother Ajaz Jafri Saab and his topic today is what is the role of women during the reign and in the government of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائك في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناسنا ودليلا وحينا حتى تسكنا وحرق التوبة وتمتعوا فيها طويلا اللهم أسفل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجه السلام عليكم In the pre-Islamic age of ignorance women were not treated as humans they were offered no rights and in some cases their mere existence was such an embarrassment that most of them were buried alive holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad injected new life into that society he sallallahu alaihi wasallam granted women rights and responsibility corresponding to rights and responsibility of men islam raised the status of women to such an extent that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam accepted the pledges of elegance they were allowed to accompany the muslim army in the battleground as nurses treating the injured and of course for the moral support for the troop in some cases they were actually fighting the woman of today has reached or regress to a state of new age of ignorance by way of deceiving platitudes like human equality equal equality woman empowerment economic and political leaders of today have exploited and turned women into cheap laborer and they have exploited them to full the nuclear family which is the crux of any society has been crumbling once again the world is in need of revival movement as of at the time of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the reappearance of imam zamana ajla taala farj sharif will instigate that revolutionary movement so the aim of today's presentation is to introduce those women who would be joining Imam Islam's army. This woman will be revived and returned to Imam Islam as companion in the battlefield. In Surah Baqarah, ayat number 148, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah kadir. Wherever you are, Allah will bring you all together surely Allah has power over all the things Imam Bakr salam says the Mahdi salam will rise up along with 313 men and 50 women 
without any previous arrangement, just like clouds are gathered up in the sky one after another. In one more tradition, Imam Jafar Sadiq says, there will be 13 elite women alongside Imam Qaim al -Islam. Janab Mufazzal alayhi rahma asked Imam who they will be and what would their roles be. Imam alayhi salam replied, they will treat the injured and will take care of the sick just as the woman at the time of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He then gave the name of those 13 women. So let us in get introduced some of those women who they were. The first one, first lady is Janab Sayyana alayhi rahma. Salamun alayhi. Janab Sayyana was wife of Hazrat Hijkil, who was the prayer, who was in the courtroom of Firon. He was a believer in Allah, but he kept his religion hidden. But at the time of uh, Prophet Musa salam, he revealed his religion and he was killed along with the magician. Soon afterward, even the daughter of Firon uh, gave away the secret of Janab Sayyana, and even she was brought to the court of Firon. There she professed openly when she was challenged that who is your Lord? She said Allah is my Lord. For that purpose he was he ordered her to be thrown into the fire along with her infant. When she was about to be thrown into fire she was a little scared. At that point of time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed one miracle. The infant in her arm said oh mother be patient as we are on the right path. She got reaffirmed on her faith and she was thrown into the fire. That's how she gave sacrifice uh, in the way of Allah. The second noble lady is Janab Asiya Salamun Alayhi. She was wife of Pharaoh and she witnessed this horrific incident. She prayed secretly for the uh, Janab Sayyana and her child. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made her see the journey of the soul towards heaven. She admonished Firon for his atrocities. For that, Firon ordered her to be murdered. And how? By hammering nails in her body. She gave up her life in the way of Allah. So this would be second noble lady who would be revived. Third noble lady is Janab Umm Khalid. She was student of Imam Jafar Sadiq salam. She was an excellent orator. She was very intelligent, she had knowledge and she defended Imam of her time by speeches and debate. Next lady, Janabe Zubaydah Khatun. She was an Abbasid princess. She was wife of Harun Rashid. She was also believer of Alibet Al Muslim, but she kept her uh, belief in Taqiyya. She donated a lot in the charity of Islam. She was an engineer. She designed the well system, irrigation system, construction of road from Iraq to Makkah. Later on, when Harun Rashid found out that she is a believer, he divorced her. Janabe Hababa al Walabiya. She is one of the Sahibat al Asad, meaning owner of the stone. These stones given to her by Imam Ali salam, along with her along with his advice to her that go and ask Imam of the time you will have a long life go and ask to the Imam of the time this stone will give witness to the Imamat and she did she had a long life given to her by Imam Sajjad salam, and she survived till Imam Bakr salam. Janabe Umm Sayyid she was student of Imam Jafar Sadiq salam. She was again very obedient to Imam al -Islam. Once she was very sick and doctor gave her advice to bring alcohol. She asked Imam al -Islam for this advice which Imam by Maslaigab said he didn't give permission to bring alcohol. She was patient. She bared that kind of pain that she was going through but she didn't take alcohol. In this way she ended her life, sacrificing her life obeying Imam of her time. There are other ladies also which history tells us Janabe Kanwa bin Tirushet 
جناب ام سعید جناب وطیرہ جناب ام ایمن جناب ابسیہ ایچ آف دس ومن ہیو دے اون سپیشل سٹرگل اگینس دی اینیمیز آف اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی دس ایلیٹ آف ومنز آرمی ور فیرلیس کریجیس پائیس ریزائلنٹ پرسیویرنٹ پیشنٹ انٹیلیجنٹ اینڈ سیلف لیس دے ور وائز اینڈ اباؤ آل دیر فیت واز انڈسٹرکٹیبل سو ایز وی سی دس لیڈی ایچ وومن وڈ بی این آئیڈل موڈل فور انڈر وومن سو بائیم دے گیونگ دس ایکزیمپل آف دس لیڈی وی آئی وانٹ ٹو کنکلوڈ دیٹ وی شوڈ پری فار آف کورس ری اپیئرنس آف امام زمانہ اجا تعالیٰ فر شریف ایس مچ ایس پوسیبل بٹ آلسو میک ایس سرونٹ سلیف آف سچ مدرز With this I conclude Waqf e dawan alhamdulillah Rabbil alameen Arza is liye Khake Shifa se likha hai Zaroor ho Ginaayat Imam aakhir ki